Bible says he seeks people that will worship him in truth and in spirit. May we be such a ministry. May we be such an individual that worship God in truth and in spirit. Amen and amen. While we are still standing, I want to call those who brought in their tithes today so that we can pray for you. If there are any, please come forward. Come quickly. Come quickly. And those who, are, who didn't bring their tithes today, please get ready with your... Um, get ready with your with your with your seed and your offering and uh, in this house we believe in we believe in time we believe in the abrahamic order of doing things amen there are some people that are preaching their grace and what what let them do it but as for me and my house this is the way we do it amen so we bring our tithes we and unto the house of the lord and there is a promise to it that i will open the windows of heaven and I will pour out a blessing and you will not have any room to put it. Amen. Until that becomes our testimony, we will stand on the word of God. Just lift up your hands and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I bring my tithe to you according to the scriptures. Now, Lord, you said, test me now. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour such a blessing that I will not have room to contain it. I'm now waiting for that overflowing blessing in my life. In Jesus' name. Now by the authority over my life, I now release the blessing of this house. May it rest upon you. The blessing of elevation, the blessing of increase, the blessing of abundance. It is your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The choir, are you not going to sing? You're not going to sing. So while I'm speaking, please, let's come and give our offering. We don't need uh, the choir sometimes. I always say with sometimes, Atisi, Mudzimu, Nolfana, Kubu, Kubu, Urofana, Kuimbir, Wautu, Bude, just, just, let's, uh, let's just move the baskets, or you can come to front, to the front, and you can pay electronically, whatever the case might be, and we'll pray. Alright. And those who want to use the swiping machine, you can do it at the back or at the end of the service. I always say when it comes to offering, offering time should not take you by surprise. Hello? Am I talking to somebody? Just say to your neighbor, neighbor, offering time should not take you by surprise. In fact, the Bible says that a man ought to give what he has purposed in his heart. And so you don't purpose when you are in church. You purpose when you are still at home. You purpose when you are receiving your salary. You purpose when you are receiving your profit. That's when you purpose. So, so I have purposed in my heart. And so the money that I give, it's not... So even if somebody comes here and preaches very powerfully, I've already purposed what I'm going to give. Are you getting what I'm saying? So I'm not moved by my emotions, but I purpose in my heart what I am going to give. Hallelujah. And, and, and I, always, I also tell God what I want to give. So one of the things that I'm saying to God, I say, God, I want to have capacity to be able to pay a one million U.S. dollar tithe. That's what I'm, that's what I'm believing God for. And say, I want to I wanna be able to bring a check or a tithe or a transfer, a tithe, a one million by faith. And, 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 and why it is important for you to start to have those kind of conversations with God is, is when you go and see what God did with, with David. David just thought in his mind that I want to build God's temple. And God went bizarre and crazy by somebody's thought. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And God made promises and said, because you have desired this thing, the kingdom will not depart out of your house. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So sometimes God wants to see your desire because he, 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 he's the one who looks at the inner intents of the heart. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Father, we thank you for everybody that is given and we declare a blessing of a thousand times more coming upon everybody in this house that is given in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody that believes that says, Amen. Hallelujah. So as you have heard, um, next week, uh, next month we are starting Sunday school schools are opening 
So why not open Sunday school? Are you getting what I'm saying? So if schools are opening, we are also opening Sunday school. And um, we are also looking for Sunday school teachers. As you know, the one that was there um, uh, went to be with the Lord this year uh, during the COVID time. And uh, it was a great loss to all of us. Uh, but we still need to move. Uh, and we need to make sure that our kids are being taken care of. They are being taught of the Lord. And um, so those who can volunteer. And uh, we are also looking for a dedicated teacher. Please, those who are interested, may you see uh, the administration team. Can you see um, uh, 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 Mr. Gonye Jr. Raphael, our administrator, soon after church? Is that okay? And so let's plan um, and things like that. And uh, like what uh, Uncle Rob said, we are believing God for a new venue where we will meet as one church. Very nice. So let's just keep on praying for God's favor. We are meeting the guys tomorrow. And so um, at 9 o'clock in the morning, those who can pray, pray. Those who can fast, fast. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So it's it's uh, so so we, we we are looking for uncommon uncommon favor because there is competition. You get what I'm saying? The place is so nice that uh, bigger ministries are like, shoo, 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 shoo. but I believe that it's just our season. I I, I I I in fact I I I believe that the message that I'm speaking today is to is for this church, you know. So yeah, so I'm preaching. A message called from nowhere from nowhere from nowhere father i pray that you may now think through my mind speak through my lips i pray that this word will be confirmed with signs and wonders in the lives of your people that god they will not hear me speak but they will hear your voice in this place i pray that the spirit of faith will rise and cause people to spring into action and I thank you, Father, for confirming your word this morning in the lives of your people. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody says, Amen. Amen. Now, I am sure that uh, I just want to uh, uh, greet Tinashe. You, I, I've not seen you for a long time. Church, please, may uh, Tinashe stand. I want you to see Mr. Tinashe is... Is uh, come is one of my sons. Is stand, 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 Mr. Tinashe. I always play with Tinashe. You know, it's our game between pastor and uh, and uh, I know I'll, I'll be pulling his leg. <laughs> Hallelujah, Amen. He's a good man. He's the one who bought us this um, this this uh, uh, um, projector that we are using. So. I didn't, we didn't ask him, and I always say, if you are a, a member of this house, and if you really love this house, when you see something missing, don't wait for us to come and, and beg, because we won't. <laughs> I'm not going to come at your door and say we need something. But if you see something missing and you are a, a member of this house, whatever you notice is what God has given you to cure. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So other people are not noticing what you're noticing because the, it has not been given to them. So if you notice something deficient in the house, it is, it is don't wait for the voice of God or the man of God and the woman of God to come because we will not come. We are not beggars even though we need certain things to be sorted out. We believe that maturity uh, uh, as, as a church member or as a person in the house you see what needs to be done, and you take care of it. The Bible says, Andrew, your sons shall fight with your enemies at the gate. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So fighting with the enemies at the gate is that they'll start to take care of business that they see is, 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 is necessary to be taken care of. Am I talking to somebody? Just say to your neighbor, Pastor is speaking to you now. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And this... We have never done it and we will not do it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah, we will not, we will not, we will not come and beg. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So, I want you to understand that life is a mystery. Life is a mystery. And uh, while life is a mystery, you are going to need wisdom 
You are going to need what? You are going to need wisdom to make sense of it. And uh, I will repeat it again that after you get saved, I think to me the most important thing that every Christian needs is the wisdom of God. Because without the wisdom of God, even if you are saved, you can be in, uh, in, in a encapsulated place where you are going nowhere, saved but useless. But the wisdom of God will give you the strength and the impetus to, to become what God desires of your life. Am I talking to somebody? And you are privileged to be a member of this church. You are privileged to, be, uh, to have been attracted and God calling you from wherever God called you from. And, 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 and living and, and coming because here the central theme of our teaching is the wisdom of God. And what the wisdom of God, it will, it will bring you into, because the wisdom of God is the mind of God concerning your life. It is, it, it, is, it, it is the how-to, how God wants to bring whatever is hidden in you, hidden in your potential, and God exposes it to benefit the human family and you fulfilling your purpose as a created being by God. Because only the creator of a thing knows the purpose of a thing. But while we are going through life like that, I have, I have seen some people, I've seen strange things. I have seen the least people expected to make it, making it. I've seen some people that were looked down upon becoming the great people. I've seen people rise to prominence from nowhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I've seen, I'm sure you guys, you know, I used to love sports. Tadiwa uh, is a sports lady and she's, she's quite good at these marathons. Uh, and so, at one time, she was in grade five, and she beat all the grade sevens. She came number one. Even the people from Kumusha who walk long distances, they were beaten by a musala. She, 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 you get what I'm saying? She, it's, it's, it's a gift. It's one thing that we were not taught by our fathers that we could make money outside being academic. But we are now having the wisdom to understand that there are so many ways to become rich. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? And I want to speak to parents. Allow your kids to express their gifts. Some of them are artistic. Some of them are musical. Some of them are vocal. Some of them are athletes. Let's allow them, if you see that they have got, they are gifted in that place. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't just push somebody to be good in maths. But some of the professors that I saw there that are good in maths, I don't want to be like them. I would rather be like Ronaldo. Who knows what I'm talking about? Let him, he who has an ear, hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. It's not my message, but, but I want you to understand. So in these races, you will see, in the, especially in the, uh, the long distance, who remembers that one? Arugu front. Right at the back. But at the end of it all, what then happens is that the one that you thought was not going to win is the one that wins. The one that went in front does not make it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So let's go to scripture now. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 38 from verse 27 to 30. I'm going to read a bit of quite a number of scriptures today. But we're going to glean mainly uh, my message is, is coming from this. Now it came to pass at the time of giving birth that behold twins were in her womb. And, it, and so it was when she was giving birth that the one that the one put out his hand and the midwife took a scarlet. A scarlet is uh, a red or purple red, right? Red, uh, red thread, shinda. And tied there and bound it to the hand and said, this one came out first. And then it happened that he drew back his hand. Then his brother came out unexpectedly 
from nowhere. And she said, how did you break through? This bridge be upon you. Therefore, his name was called Perez. Everybody say Perez. Now, the word Perez, it means from coming unexpectedly from nowhere. It means breaking through. It means, it also means interrupting patterns. And I want to say to you that God wants to interrupt a pattern that has been happening in your life. Say, I am the Perez of my generation. So there are things, how things ought to happen. That the first one that put out his hand was expected to become the first. But from nowhere, Perez came out first. But he wasn't the first one to be in the scene and to be recognized. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, the word, go to verse 30. Afterwards, his brother, afterwards, the brother came out who had the scarlet on his hand, and his name was Zera. Now, Zera is a good name. It means to shine. It means to rise. Now, the revelation is here that all of us, we've got some, some Zeras in our lives. People that rise before we rise. People that seem to go ahead before you make it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? People who seem as if they've gone so much ahead that you cannot catch up with them. I still remember when I was in a uh, medical school. I learned with this guy. He's a, very, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine. He was the son of an, an, an ambassador. When we were in school, he was already driving Mercedes-Benz and Bimas. On his wedding day, he was given a house. It looked impossible for us to be in the same level of living. Are you hearing what I'm saying? until I got a revelation that he is a Zera. But I am the Perez. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, I will not be discouraged by what I see. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, do not let Zeras discourage you. Do not make them mock you. Do not make them make you have self-esteem. You are looking at your business and you are looking at the big businesses that are doing the same it's like as if you are a little boy. You, it's, it's like as if you are a nobody. When we started this church, me and, and, and Pastor D, uh, uh, in 2012, and we were, we were the, when we were organizing this, we were, we were four people with one little kid. And there were already churches that were mega. There were there were churches that were already doing big things. There were big prophets and big apostles. And, and, and somebody came to us and said, why are you starting a church? There are already so many churches in Zimbabwe. So the Zeras, we were, they, were, they were bringing the, 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 the bigness of the, of, of the Zeras, but they didn't know that we were the Perez. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So Perez is breaking through. It is coming from nowhere. It is coming from behind and still making it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So Perez is a way of thinking. It is a, a way of living. It is a way of believing. It is a way of, 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 of persisting until you make it. It is a way of never giving up. It is a way of being patient in your lane. I still remember when we were studying some pastors came to us and say, you are preaching wisdom. You are not prophesying. You are not doing deliverance. In Africa, you cannot make it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You cannot make it. It's going to be so difficult for you to grow a church because you are not doing all the haprakata prakatas. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are just teaching and bringing in wisdom. Africa is not for wisdom. Maybe if you were in the States, but they didn't know that there was an anointing and thinking of Perez. Somebody shout Perez in the house. 
Are you hearing one? It's a way of keeping on going. So we did not change our title. We did not become Prophet Chirisa and, and Prophetess Chirisa Res or something like that. Or we continue to be pastors and, and doctors. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In fact, we continued in our lane. We even went to school when we were pastors so that we can increase our ability to understand the world that we are living in, the, the celebral world. So I went and did my master's and did, did his, uh, his law degree. We were, we were increasing ourselves in the world of wisdom because God called us to the city of wisdom. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, we, so Perez says, I'm going to stay in my land. Despite what others are doing, despite somebody who is, you know, somebody can be selling, can be selling uh, 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 tires and they prosper and you are doing something else, you are selling clothes and it seems as if that one is prospering more than you. And now you've got a, 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 a I'm speaking to somebody here who's, who's about to change lanes. And you're about to go to a lane which is not yours, which you are not called to because there is a Zara who is doing well, not knowing that you are a Perez who's going to come out from nowhere. Am I talking to somebody here? So you need to know that Perez is a way of believing. It's a way of keeping on pushing. It's a way of not stopping. It is not just some positive thinking, but it is faith best thinking and acting. So Perez, there's something about Perez that Perez knew about the word of God. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 20 verse 16. It's also in Matthew chapter 19 verse 30. Just put one of those. Matthew chapter 19 verse 30. He understood that people can go ahead of me. People can do better than me. When you are born into this world, there are already some rich people. When you are born into this world, there are already people that are, are, are possessing your land. When you come into a business and start something, there's already somebody who is going to invest in it. There's already somebody who is ahead of you who is doing well and they look untouchable. But I understand what the word of God says. But many who are first will be last. And the last first so I am Perez. I look as if I am last. I look as if I'm going nowhere. I look as if I'm amounting to nothing. But I understand that I am Perez. Am I talking to some Perez in this place? When you look at yourself, when you look at your life, when you look at your business, when you look at your family, it's like as if you are last. But I'm here to announce that in this season, that the last are becoming first from nowhere. Just tap your neighbor and say, from nowhere, from nowhere, from nowhere, from nowhere, from nowhere, from nowhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It looked as if it was over, but from nowhere. It looked as if you are finished, but from nowhere. It looked as if you are going nowhere, but from nowhere. It looked as if this band will never produce its own CD, but from nowhere. It looked as if there will be no millionaire coming from this house, but from nowhere. It seems as if you will never have that degree, but from nowhere. It seems as if you are never going to go to the UK, but from nowhere. It seems as if we are never going to build our building, but from nowhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? When you're in this house, there is an anointing for Perez's. And in this season, God is releasing it on this house. You are coming out from nowhere. You are becoming something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is Bible that the first shall be last. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I am getting ready to overtake the people that I admired. I'm getting ready to start to rule and dominate the people that used to dominate me. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? I am a Perez. Not only that, but Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8, also says, The end of a thing is better than its beginning. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. The end of a matter uh, I am not yet finished. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't judge me with where I am right now. Are you hearing? I might be renting, but I am not yet finished. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? I might be still going to South Africa on a bus, but I am not yet finished. I might be in a small little corner, but I am not yet finished. 
I might be working for somebody, but I am not yet finished. Because I understand that the end of a matter is more important than its beginning. Don't judge me by how I begin. Because the Bible says, do not despise the days of small beginnings. Can I hear an amen somebody who's beginning small? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So we are not moved. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When we were 10, I was preaching as if I was preaching to 10,000. I was preaching and studying as if I am preaching to a mega church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because it is not how I start, but it is how I finish. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the Bible tells me that the end of a mirror is better than its beginning. Some of you are discouraged by your beginning. So just tell your neighbor right now that I'm just beginning. I'm just beginning. I'm just beginning. My shop is, is, is small, but I'm just beginning. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm in a fit, but I am just what? Beginning. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. I'm renting, but I'm just what? Beginning. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. I've got one suit, but I'm just beginning. I've got one keyboard, but I'm just beginning. Are you hearing what? I've got one degree, but I am just beginning. He also understood Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11, which says, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. Put it up quickly. Put it up quickly. I returned and saw under the sun that the rest is not to the swift. Who is happy that the rest is not to the swift? Because uh, in all your life, our number will win a prize. You were not the most brilliant. In the one, I don't Zakanya so to Kesere. Ziri mo red zes. In fact, your family went to go to Uyindiye, go for a mako ko re mumuri. But they spoke too soon. They did not know that you are going to come to Wisdom City. And you are going to be in contact with a, an anointing of Perez. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I am so happy that the race is not to the swift. Not the battle to the strong. I am not strong. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I do not know anybody who is in government. My father was never in government. I do not know anybody who, who, was, who, who, was, uh, who caused us to have any advantage. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I cannot quote anybody that I've been sent by so and so. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Are you hearing? But my belief is in the Lord. The Bible says, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we remember the name of the Lord. The Bible says, uh, some look to the hills. Where does your promotion come from? It comes from the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't need to know anybody. You don't need to go and suck anybody. All you need to do is to position yourself in the Lord. Say Perez. Somebody shout Perez. Say Perez, Perez. Perez, Perez, Perez. No bread is it to the wise, those who are learned and academic. No riches to the men of understanding or favor to the men of skill. But I'm, I'm trusting this, that time and chance. Say time and chance. Time and chance. Time and chance. Time and chance. Happen to who? To all. And I am here to announce that your time is now. Your chance is now. The window is open for Wisdom City. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you are listening to me and you are watching me, if you are listening to this broadcast, by how, somehow God brought you to this broadcast, I'm here to announce to you that this is your time. This is your season. The window has opened. But I love what my pastor used to say, Dr. Ifo Mukamure. He said, every window, it opens and it closes. You must use the opportunity in the lifetime of the opportunity. Because a window goes shoo, shoo. And this is your time and your chance to advance. Because God is releasing today a Perez anointing on your life. 
you are now coming from nowhere you are not coming from nowhere they thought you were lost they thought you were nothing they thought you could not have the kids they thought you would always be in depression but you are coming from nowhere your neighborhood spoke about you that irombe are you getting what i'm saying your relative spoke about you and said nothing is coming they even went to witches and lemon crancers and spoke your name and said nothing will come out but by the anointing of the holy ghost that breaks yokes we break every yoke we break every curse that has been spoken over your life every limitation every limiting everything that has put a capsule we break it this morning and we say breakthrough from nowhere arise because your chance is now so as you can see Perez was not just positively thinking but he was basing his thinking he was basing his attitude on the word of God that I may be lost but it's not my position I am breaking through I'm coming out unexpectedly are you hearing what I'm saying when you talk to the guys that were in my class, what we are now doing, we are unexpected. They did not expect Teresa to come out because something was written on the wall. But they did not know that God is a God that can turn things around. He is the same God who said, is there anything too difficult for me? Are you hearing what I'm saying? I know we pay you a God now, Wakaoma, but Wakaoma I we were semunu, but I wanna go mera mari. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I want you to lift up your faith and say, I am the parade of my generation. I am the parade of Zimbabwe. In this season, Dini Perez one has. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Am I talking to somebody here? So today we are going to pray. We are going to, we are going to push some things. We are going to take some 10 minutes to pray. So I want you to understand that the Perez anointing is an anointing to come from behind. From not being counted to become counted. You might have made mistakes that made you to go behind. You might have made some wrong turns that made you to go behind. But I don't want you to dwell on your mistakes because we cannot change your history. But God can change your future. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, you might have gone into a ditch, but the Bible says, this is the God that, uh, he says, the righteous may fall, how many times? Seven times, but they still rise. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I want to uh, announce to somebody here who has fallen, who feels as if nothing can happen. I am here to announce that God is giving you a helping hand. He's making you rise from that ditch. He's making you rise. That vision that you had, it is not yet over. You can still become what God intended you to be. There might be a delay, but it was not a denial. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are coming from behind and from nowhere. Say, I'm coming from nowhere. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I preaching to myself here? Because I am coming from nowhere. Some people don't understand where Dr. Teresa is coming from. Some people don't even know. But I'm here to announce and let them know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you see the two footprints, they are not mine. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says my life is hid in Christ Jesus in God. It is not me that liveth, but it is him that lives in me. In him I live, in him I move, in whom I have my being. Are you hearing what I'm It is no longer I that liveth, but it is he that lives in the inside of me. I am one who carries treasure in earth and vessel. I know who I am. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yo, 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 yo. So the Perez anointing is favor and grace to get you ahead despite your disadvantages. Despite your what? You, must, you might have lost money, but you are not disadvantaged. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But it's not stopping you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody might have uh, given you a promise that they did not fulfill, but it doesn't matter anymore. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are coming, you are coming out. You are the Perez of your generation. And that anointing is here. And as we are here to, uh, this morning, I want you to tap and raise your faith and tap and say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive 
the anointing of Perez. In Jesus' name. Wisdom City, it is your time, it is your season. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to see what God is going to do because a season has come where we are coming from behind in everything. Even in our quality of music, in our quality of preaching, in our quality of being, uh, of being understood and, and being noticed in the city. We were backwards, we were unknown, but our time has come. Who don't, who gonna know you? Who, uh, uh, my bishop says, who don't know you, gonna know you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? People will be seeking your voice. I am I talking to somebody? Now, these are, I'm gonna give you examples of people that came from nowhere and came to the front. In the book of Genesis chapter 41, there's a story of Joseph. Joseph was unknown. He was in prison, forgotten by people that he had helped. But from nowhere in one day, he became the prince of Egypt. From nowhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying? From Chukurubi, D section. Are you hearing what I'm saying? from nowhere now I'm going to put a ring on him I'm gonna, he's going to move with my chariot which means I'm going to Nezim one yeah, Egypt who knew do you think Potiphar knew do you think the wife of Potiphar knew that this guy would come and rule over them from nowhere. It is your portion. And it is your season. You are coming from nowhere. Becoming the very best. The most talked about. The most bought. The richest. The biggest. You are not small. You are coming out. Perez. Perez. Look at David. In First Samuel 16. First Samuel 16. Put it up. This is the story of, of David. And so David was heading ship. And, and, and he had been anointed king, but he still continued to head ship. Saul from nowhere said, you know what? I've got a demon who is troubling me. I need somebody who can play the harp and sing. And he came from heading ship into the palace. Some of you, I'm sorry, Matumbu, in the state house. Uchiva Kuzaka Kwabushu Kulumla la 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 Wamen no go 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 Amen Lila Langwe or whatever the case might be and you are being called could know this thing we know a person that can do this in Malawi there's a church whose ushering team ushers the government occasions. It's so excellent that they call an ushering team from church to usher at government occasions from nowhere. From nowhere. He's not the only person. Look at Gideon in Judges 6. Kitchen says, I am the least from the smallest tribe. Could tribe is not dear. Dinas not dear watch. That's why he and I put his quachi wheat. But we have a less. The younger is seven. The younger is left of the tribe. But if you read chapter 7, chapter 8, he becomes the judge of Israel the head of Israel from nowhere. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't, 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 don't elevate your troubles and the things that you have gone to that you forget to see that you have got a future in God. Don't talk about your problems and your disadvantages. I want you to start talking about how God is able to turn. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stop listening to people that have suffered and continue suffering. But start to read about people that changed, that came from nowhere. Read biographies, how people started in garages and now own the biggest companies in the world. 
Amazon was started in a garage. Microsoft was started in a garage from small. They were already big companies. AMP was started by these two small boys. And now they control the biggest number of hotels in the world. You have underestimated yourself. You have focused on your weaknesses. But God wants you to focus on your strength. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because the Perez anointing has just hit this house. So watch, watch, watch. Watch the next two and a half months. The acceleration. The breaking forth. From nowhere. People in this church are going to rise from nowhere. Are going to come from nowhere. And become someone or something. Something. Some of you are going to start businesses from nowhere. Ideas are going to come from nowhere. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not ever. It's not over at all. So you can schedule your prayers. You can schedule your, your breakthrough moments. You can schedule your moments from nowhere. In Isaiah 58 verse 8, it reads, Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. The righteous shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Which means it is, it is possible for you to break forth from nowhere. Break forth. From nowhere. That is the story of your life. That people will start to ask, Dr. Chiris Amparizu, which Bible school did you go to? Apana. I said, from nowhere. From nowhere. A few days ago, I was at a meeting here at WHO. And these guys were telling me, where were you? Where were you? Are you getting what I'm saying? In my heart, I said, from nowhere. I am the Perez of my day. From nowhere. The troubles that you have gone to, through, were not to keep you under, but they were there to sharpen you, to make you strong, that when you are at the top of the mountain, you are humble, you are steady, because you know very well, it's not you, but it's God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because if you made it straight from school, you will think that maybe it's your education. You will think it's your face and your beauty and your handsome. You think it's your body, it's your hips, or it's whatever you, or your six pack. But God allowed you to go through all those things so that you might know that when God lifts you up, you know that it is God. Perez. Am I talking to somebody? Go to Psalms 112. 112 from verse 1 to 4. And then we pray. And then we pray. God gave me yesterday while I was meditating on this and preparing my heart to, to really bring it on like it was hitting me in my spirit, the theme for next year. And next year it is the year of to shine. 2021 is the year to shine. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commands. Can you put the message Bible there, please? Next year, the year of shining. Hallelujah. Blessed, blessed man, blessed woman who fears the Lord, who cherishes and re, uh, relishes his commandments. Let's go back to the New King James Version. Verse 2. His seed, his descendants, will be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Verse 3. Wealth and riches will be in his house and righteousness in Jews forever. Now, those people who are against wealth, I don't know which Bible you are reading. In the Bible, 
Bible that I read tells me that wealth and riches have to be in my heart. And the Bible says wealth and riches because riches are different from wealth. Because there are some wealthy people that don't have riches. There's a person who's got 10 houses but no rent is coming from there. Does not have riches. Can actually struggle not to have money but any wealth. Because wealth is your net worth. Riches. Jesus who said this are now. So you can be rich and not wealthy. But God wants you to have chi, both. And it's our portion. Are you getting what I'm saying? Verse 4. And after the upright, there rises light in darkness from nowhere. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. So four things you must do to schedule your prayers. The Bible says, blessed is the man that feareth, if, uh, that feareth the Lord. The, and the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Another verse says that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. So number one, for you to walk in the Perez and have a breaking through life, you must hate evil. But disqualify 90%. Because And there's some people who don't say, I don't think it's for who put it in. But see their end. Sin is nice now. But the end of sin is death. And here's the thing I want to say about doing evil. If you iron your clothes, and that iron is very hot, when you unplug it from the power, it does not become cold immediately. It continues to be hot. And some people, they are doing evil. They've un they are now unplugged from the power. But seems, things seem to be still be moving. Because the iron is still hot. But sooner or later, that iron will get cold. The wedges of sin is death. Protect your perez and your blessability by fearing the Lord. Head evil. The Bible then says, and he delights greatly in his commands. So the commands of the Lord is the word of the Lord. This is a person who delights. It means he reads, he understands, he obeys. He's a doer of the word. So what he's doing is, this is a person when he hears the word of God on tithing, he tithes. When he hears the word of God on praying, he prays. When he hears the word of God on fasting, he fasts. When he hears the word of God on preaching and bringing others to, to Christ, he does the word of God. That's delighting in his commandments. So delighting in God's commandments is, is not saying, Father, I delight in your commands. Baba, I delight. Delight to a wona. Nesha urukit. Ne pamsoro pe shokora uno ziva. How much of the how much of the word that is already in your heart are you doing? How much are you agreeing and living? What percentage of God's word is practical in your life? Don't ask for new revelation. God has got no business giving you revelation or new word when you've got unfulfilled and unobeyed commands. The Pentecostal church is looking for a new word. But yet you've got so many words that you have not yet done. So I schedule my prayers by obeying the things that I already know 
and delighting in his commands. I'm not only a hearer, but I am a doer of God's word. That's how I become blessed. So God has got no problem in blessing me. God has got no problem in making me come from behind. If you think I'm on the top, I'm just starting. If you think that Dashika, I am just starting. This is just the beginning. I am aiming for centimillionaire status. To who in who is with who in Zimbabwe. Because of the anointing of the rest in this house. It's not only on me, it's not only on T, but it's on you also. Anybody that is plugged to the vision, plugged to this commission, anybody who is part and dedicated to what God is doing in this house, it's your portion. Come on, let's rise. We want to pray before we close. We want to push for some few minutes this morning. We want to push for some few minutes. So the first thing I want you to do, I want us to go before God and ask God to forgive us for complaining too much. We thought our disadvantages was being forsaken. But God was setting us up for a purpose. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I know you have complained. I know, I know, I know you have complained. I know you have, you have said, why God, why? So we want to go before God. First, we want to pray. And say, God, forgive me for complaining. I did not understand that you were setting me up so that you, you can receive glory from what you are about to do in my life. Because there was a lot of people who were going to go to the house. They were going but now I was out. I am Dim Dimara. Dimara. Is somebody ready to ask God to forgive him or forgive her? Come on, raise your voice and say, Lord, forgive me for complaining. Father, this morning I ask that you forgive me for my complaining and bickering and not understanding the mysteries of life. That the negativities and the difficult situations that I went through, they were not to destroy me, but they were to prepare me. I pray that you forgive me, Lord, from being out of faith, not trusting you, not believing you. But today, I understand that you are releasing an anointing of praise, the anointing to come from nowhere, the anointing to break through. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive my language, forgive my heart, wash me with your blood. In the name of Jesus, I now understand I was being prepared for greatness. I was being prepared for greatness. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to accept and receive. say, I receive. You, are, you receive. you accept it and say, sit on me. And then you start to speak it on the issues that you want it to operate. Sit in, on, on my ministry. Sit on my business. Sit on my academic account. Sit it, let it sit on my family. Let it sit on my wife. Accept it for yourself. Accept it for your business. Accept it for this church. Say we receive. Come on. Somebody raise your voice and receive. Oh, pray, pray. Nobody's going to pray for you. Father, this morning, I now receive the anointing to come from nowhere. The anointing to come from behind. The Perez anointing. I am the Perez of my generation. I receive the anointing for breakthrough, for breaking forth in the name of Jesus for this ministry. I receive the Perez anointing financially. I receive 
the perez anointing for position and elevation i receive the anointing for breakthrough in government in the name of jesus in business breakthroughs to come from nowhere i receive it for my wife i receive it from my kids as the priest of this house i receive it for this church Jesus, every area, every center, every part of our lives is changing. It is breaking through. We are coming from nowhere. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, those who are married are coming from nowhere to get married. Those who have got no kids are coming from nowhere having kids. Those who are looking for jobs are coming from nowhere having jobs. Those with no companies are coming from nowhere having companies. Those who are small companies are coming from nowhere to help me. We are breaking through. We are breaking forth. We are breaking forth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now that we have received the anointing, the Bible says, the spirit of faith believes and then it speaks. So I want you to speak what you want to see in your breakthrough release it with your mouth create it in the atmosphere speak it out create it this morning in Jesus name somebody raise your voice I now speak a mega church in the name of Jesus I now speak a new venue in the name of Jesus from nowhere a built up venue in the name of Jesus I now speak Elevation in the government. I now speak. Elevation in business. I now speak. In the name of Jesus. Rising from nowhere. Coming to the fore. Becoming the head and not the tail. Above only and not beneath. Mount high millionaire status. From nowhere our businesses are rising. Everything that I do. Is prospering in this season. Every project. No matter how small. It is prospering. In the name of Jesus, hospital contracts are being signed. Hospitals are being released. We are dominating the medical field. We are dominating it. In the name of Jesus, we are breaking forth from nowhere. The Perez, I am Perez. I am Perez, Jesusa. I am rising. I am breaking forth. In the name of Jesus, this house is breaking forth. In the name of Jesus, we are breaking through numbers. We are breaking through financially. We are breaking through talent. Breaking through skills. Breaking through anointing. Breaking through. In the name of Jesus. Those who can speak in tongues, let's go and pray. Let's start to speak in tongues. Robo Shaka. Robo Sheke. Riyama Katsada. Robo Kosoto. Robo Koshiha Makasata. Robo Kosoto Robo Koshata. I am breaking through. I am breaking through. The anointing for greatness is in this house. The anointing for riches is exactly here. The angel of wealth is here. The angel of success is here. Go for touch your people. Move your people. Bring wealth and riches. Bring people. The spirit of growth is here. The spirit of faith is here. The spirit of healing is here. Our story is changing. Our story is changing. New beginnings. New beginnings. Our time to shine is come. In the name of Jesus. Robo Koshaba Kasata. Robo Kosete. Robo Kosaba. Uma Kashiha Kalaboso. Okosoto Robo Koshaka. Riyande. Riyande Mo Koshiha Makasata. Come on, 
I see people coming from behind. I see people forgotten. I see people being remembered. I see favor coming forth. In the name of Jesus.